Today we're going to do a test to see how good your balance is. Let's begin with toe lifts. So we're going to lift our heels up and down 10 times, balancing on our toes. On the 10th one, we'll stay up on our toes and see how long we can hold it. So let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold the to toes up. The longer you can stay up in this pose, uh, the better your balance is and also it indicates that you have good strong muscles in your feet and you have strong ankles. One of the things we work on in balance is improving the flexibility in the foot and the ankles. So we'll stay up here and if you do this on your own, you can time yourself and see how long you can stay up on your toes. Another thing that helps is to find a focal point with your eyes and gaze at that steady focal point, not, not, not anything that's moving. So I'm going to come down off my toes now. So that's the first test. The next test is a one-legged lift. So for this, I recommend that you have a chair handy. You notice I'm doing these movements with my bare feet. I recommend you do them in bare feet. You can use shoes, but with the bare feet, you can use your, your, the base of your foot to balance. So we're going to balance on the leg that's closest to the chair, and that's one of my assistants. So let's begin. So make sure you have a chair handy, and then stand on the leg closest to the chair and lift your other leg up, bending it at the knee. And if you can hold this pose between 30 seconds and one minute, you're a rock star. So we're just gonna hold the pose. And I'm using as my focal point the camera. So I best not wiggle too much. If you feel like you're very steady on your foot, you can add some arm movements just to see if when you move you can hold the balance and let's come down. All right, so that's one leg. Let's move the chair and try balancing on your other leg. So again, root down on the foot that's closest to the chair, stand up tall, and then lift the other leg up. Find your focal point and hold your balance. Again, if you're doing it with me in the video, hold it as long as you can. And if you're doing it on your own, you can use a timer and time and see how long you can hold the pose. It's always good to breathe while you're doing this too. You can hold it longer if you breathe. <laughs> And again, if you find that you're steady, you can add some arm movements just to check how your balance is when you're adding movement. And then come down. So those are some standing poses that you can do to check your balance. Another way that we often use our balance is getting up and down out of chairs. So in this third uh, movement, we're gonna sit and stand and see how quickly we can come from a seated position to standing and then back to seated. So the chair you should use is a kitchen chair or a dining room chair so that your uh, hips and knees are level. If you're in a sofa, of course, Generally, sofas for many of us are either lower or higher than this position. So I'm going to begin. I'm going to do 10 times and stay with me if you want. Go at your own pace, though. The more quickly you can do this, of course, the better your stability and balance is. So let's begin. Here we go. And 
this is 10. And back to seated. 